Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I think it's time to do some more overworld exploration because I've been kind of missing out on some other stuff. <laughs> so what I'm going to do this part is explore like the whole right side of this area I guess you could say on both the light as well as the dark world to clear this bad boy out. So, I'm going to start by going to the upper right corner this time on the Dark World. Why the Dark World? Well, because we can get something rather nice over at that, well, sort of, kind of, at, ow, at that place where I got the flippers at. Well, not that far, but along that path, basically. So, we're going to go past the shop here, and we're going to go... We don't have to go. <laughs> we don't have to go too far north, though. Actually, it's just for a little bit of stuff, as well as some uh, minor exploration. So yeah, let's just keep following the path here and just keep breaking our way through. And hello there, <laughs> uh, Lake of Ill Omen. Yeah, that's where we're going. Oh boy. Oh no, bad, bad, bad imitation Octorox. Bad. So oh oh oh. oh. Okay, you're not the you're not the quadruple fire octorox. Okay, <laughs> okay, I like this quite a bit. Now read this sign. Read this. Curses to anyone who throws something into my circle of stones. You know what I have to say about that? You know what I have to say about that? Eat your sign! <laughs> oh jeez! What? Oh, what? Oh, Arceus, what have I done? Oh, it's a fish. Oh. What was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I will give this to you if you go away. I got the quick medallion! Yeah! It uses a lot of magic power though, so, <laughs> so don't uh, use and abuse this thing. Uh, Alright, so now that this is in the dark world, I am going to switch over to the light world over to the spot because there's something I forgot over here that I thought was over at the dark world, but now I remember it's not, <laughs> but now that I think about it, but someone else pointed it out to me, thank you. Mysterious pond, won't you throw something in? Why, sure, let's just, let's just see what I got here. Hmm, how about I throw this boomerang in here? Mmm. Mmm. Uh, yes I did! I like an honest person. I'll give you something better in return. I did, technically didn't drop it, I threw it in. I got the magical boomerang! It's a little bit better because it's faster and it's got a bigger range. But I'd like to throw something else in here if you don't mind. Uh, there we go! <laughs> so let's see what we got. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> but there is something I can throw my bow into later. Uh, what if I say no though? Uh... Really, it isn't. <laughs> okay, she knows. She knows, okay. So, what I want to do is throw in my shield in here as well. Hey, 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 come on, come on, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so, I want to throw... Not a bottle. I mean, yeah, you could throw bottles in here and get magic potions, but what I'm looking to do here is get a shield here. Just plop the shield in there. And, ooh, yes, I did drop it. Yes, 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 I did. So she's going to give me something better. She gives the red shield or the fire shield, whichever one you want to call it. I've seen it being called both names. So, yeah, I can defend myself against fireballs now, and I can actually demonstrate that to you uh, right away here. <laughs> because there's a couple of Zoras roaming around these parts. Look at that! Look at that! I can block them. Isn't that fantastico? All right, let's now go back into the dark world and flop over to... Actually, did I sh... Uh, hold on, is there much to show over here? I don't think there's much actually over here uh, in the dark world besides that. Yeah, it's just like a shortcut back and then you got this river here. But actually, I could show on the way back um, because you got to kind of follow this river over to a bridge. And over by the bridge is a place that you can go under the bridge and get yourself a bottle from a hobo-like guy. Uh, where is the spot? Oh, no, not the low health bee. Please. Please, no. Um, uh, I'm going to try it here. And I'm going to check my map. 
Let's see here. Uh, not... Uh, I think it's actually that bridge right there, if I'm not mistaken. Or it's that bridge. I think it's this bridge, actually. Uh, okay, so let's go back through the portal, I suppose. Ah, oh, the low health beef even goes on during portal change. <laughs> yeah, it's just... it's too brutal. Please, someone give me a heart. I'm, I'm begging you. No! I said hearts, not death. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do here is go past Bomberman territory here. I believe I can just go right straight through. Yes, I can. And now, 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 right here. Let's see what this turns into. Uh, yes, this is the bridge that I'm looking for. All right, so what I want to do here is go under that bridge by... Where can I drop off into the water here? This is... <laughs> Actually, maybe there was a drop-off point at, uh, I'm gonna try and go around them. Well, I guess I can't go totally around them. <laughs> uh, ah! Yeah, there's, nah! yeah, there's a sort of wing over here that you can sort of kind of get into the water. It's, I was gonna go down this way anyway to, uh, Lake Hylia, but the reason why I'm going through here is because of said bottle and I gotta go through the river and there appears to be, eh, eh. Swimming controls, little haphazard. <laughs> don't shoot at me, please. At least don't hit me, please. All right, so over here, I'm going to go under the bridge, and here we go. <laughs> Hello, hobo guy. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yo, Link. You seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. So I guess he knows me. <laughs> I get a magic bottle. I'm not gonna fill it up with anything though, because I would like to. Oh, there's a fairy fountain nearby, isn't there? But what I'd like to do is show you something that I can collect um, via the bottles. Like, you can get bees by using the bug catching that, and you can use the bees to attack enemies, but there's a special kind of bee that I'm going to be getting relatively shortly. Uh, you'll be able to see very closely. But right now, I'm going to go to that dang fairy's fountain over and up here, because I am... Tired of the low health beep. <laughs> yeah, if you don't remember, there is this place right here. You go in and you get rid of any low health beeps. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. So now what I'm gonna do here. Wait, hold on a sec. Uh, there's one thing that I did forget to show back over here as well, I just remembered here. Yeah, I know I'm all over the place here, and this always seems to happen when I've got a lot of stuff that I want to do in one part. <laughs> Is I want to go and uh, show you what's over here uh, down this way. I said I was going to explore this uh, when, I, when I switch between the worlds at once, because there's not really much over here for the most part. It's just like a little exploration place with a fairy fountain and this very small patch of grass here. It's mostly detailing. I can't... <laughs> can't cut it for some reason. Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, I just wanted to see if there was something there. Got some more almost guys hanging out here. Yeah, you could have went here a lot earlier, but it wasn't really necessary in, my, in all honesty. Um, that is a portal to the Dark World, which I'll be using pretty shortly. But over here is the fairy fountain that I was uh, talking about. And what I'm going to use is the bug catching net to get a couple of my bottles filled here. Just so I don't have to worry. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to swing my sword at you. There we go. Just so I don't have to worry about uh, low health beeps anymore. I just want one open, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I just wanted to have one open for the future. Uh, because, as for said special bee that I'll be getting later that I'd like to show you. Uh, basically, when you get a bee in a bottle, you'll be able to unleash it, and it'll attack enemies for you. Uh, but it doesn't do all that much damage in itself. It's more of a disrupting sort of kind of critter more than anything. Um, I don't know. Well, maybe there's something over here in the dark world. Uh, no, there is not. I always remember this area to be like, I don't know, a transition point more than anything, rather than just it being something that you you need to come through. Because I, I, besides that fairy fountain there to re refill, I don't really see the need of coming here, and I'd like to avoid, yeah, the critters coming after me if at all possible. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Just leave him live. 
Leave him live. Alright, so now down, 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 down. This way, as I was saying before. I'm gonna have to bother with you, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, now down this way. I'm gonna flop over. Uh, that's something for later, the, the special bomb shop over there, but I'd like to go down this path here. There's not really anything super special down here, I guess you could say. Uh, but I would like to show this particular section anyway. Is there a... No, there's no cave here. Uh, but there is if I use the magic mirror here and go over to the light world. So I'm gonna go in here and see what's up. It's a shop. <laughs> okay. That's not what I remembered being there. I thought it was another fairy fountain, actually, but... Ah, uh, whatever. We're fine. We're good. Uh, here's another fortune teller's place if you need hints. But, you know, you're gonna have to pay rupees to get your fortune told, and I don't think I need to get my fortune told with my experience in the game, so I am golden! <laughs> eh, eh, okay, we're good. Just want to take a look-see over here, and... Okay... Uh, what's over in the Dark World version of this now? Let's see... Gotta stop, stop, stop! <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta go back in here because I can't use the magic mirror when that's when there's that sparkly thing on the map uh, But I can use other portals in the area if they exist uh, Stop 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 <laughs> All right, what's in here probably a shop probably yep, it's a shop <laughs> If you would like to get stuff there you go um, by the way, I'll just I'll show you something here really quick if you were to say buy the shield, yes, yes, yes. If you were to buy the shield or at least try to, yeah, he'll say that you don't need it because you got a better shield. <laughs> in this case, it's the fire shield or the red shield. The same will happen in the light world as well. Alright. By the way, do not. Do not let them grab you. You will regret it. I should say, do not let them uh, grab onto whatever you have because they can steal all sorts of stuff from you, <laughs> including your shield, and you have to. Rebuy one, now it's stink. Alright. Now I'm gonna go around this way, yeah? Uh, and along this wall here, I'm gonna follow. Uh, first, there is a cave on this version of the world. Stop! Stop! Those things are quite a pain. Hey there. Take some rupees, but don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Keep it between us, okay? Alright! I don't know why you would give them to me. Are, are these rupees hot? Are, like, did you steal these rupees and you're giving them to me to just ditch them so that you can get away from the law? Anyway, I'm getting a lot of rupees here so I can upgrade my uh, bombs and arrows because I'll be in the Lake Hylia area. Uh, which reminds me, you can get up to 70 arrows and 50 bombs, so with the, with the amount of rupees that I have now, I'll be able to do that with relative ease. But anyway, I'm just going to continue along this path here because I still want to go and explore this portion, both in the light and the... Wait, actually, I should keep my bombs up. Both the light and the dark world. See, there's this... Remember this transition, I guess you could say, barrier ledge between the uh, swamp and the lake? Yeah, I'm going to go down this way this time for realsies and the... Uh, okay, there's nothing here. At least in this world. But there is. If I use... Magic mirror here, and I go get some bombs, plop it there! And yeah, I kept the magic mirror just away from the wall so I wouldn't be able to, uh... uh so I wouldn't walk myself into said wall. I want to pick this up, and I want to kill you guys. Wait, can I, like, hookshot you guys, or arrow you guys? I'm thinking hookshot because it's a little, you know, I don't use my arrows. Oh yeah, that works! <laughs> oh yeah! Yeah, you can also use your hookshot to grab stuff, just like you can with the boomerang. Anyway, let's see what's in here. Oh, hello. How's it going? So, it's another gift of rupees. Oh no, my wallet's full! Does that mean I'm gonna be wasting rupees if I get them from the chests? Probably. I wasted 20! Okay, I didn't waste any there. Well, actually, no, my arrows are full. I wasted 20! And I fill up my bombs. Yay! So, I kind of... Wait, no. Hmm. Well... <laughs> <sighs> That's fine. <laughs> Actually, I don't need to spend that much, that many more rupees, in all honesty. Um, now, I'm gonna leave this sparkly spot here, because... But I'm gonna be doing... Well, actually, uh... 
Nah, I'll leave the sparkly spot there and come back through there uh, relatively shortly. I'm not going to jump in the lake just yet, but when I do, I will be ready for it, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, so I want to go and follow this side here. Look at this, look at this guy here. Ah, oh, it explodes if you get close! <laughs> yeah, that's... That's a surprise enemy! It's an octaballoon. You know, like Octorock, they're octaballoons. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Octorocks in the area here. Uh, there's a little ledge that you can jump in the water there, I guess, if you'd like to. I don't know why you would, unless you want to get back to the lake, but... Nah. <laughs> I'm not ready to do that just yet, as I said. So I'm gonna go in here. I know there's a wall over to the left, but this is... This is something the game is... Is doing just to, like hint at you uh, on the inside here so I'm gonna throw I mean I'm gonna show this first by throwing a bomb over at that wall so you're gonna see over here there is a chest over there and this chest you actually need to open in order to beat the game I'm not kidding you <laughs> get me going now um I think this is the thing I'm looking for here what I'm gonna do here is boop, look at that that's a golden bee it's ah, it's three times more powerful than the regular bee and I would like to keep it in a bottle to use to attack other enemies just for the fun of it and you could even re-catch bees in your bug catching net if you would like to so just for the demonstration purposes well it's actually called the good bee here but it's called the golden bee elsewhere all right so I'm just gonna let it take care of everything <laughs> look at it go look at it go and if you have, as I said, buck catching nut, you can re-catch it. And there we go. So I can use that whenever I want to clear out something really, really quickly. <laughs> I mean, really quickly. What's under here? Eh. I just got both the sound effects going on at the same time. <laughs> uh, let's see what you have to say here. Uh, yes, I know that is true. Is that why you're hiding rupees for other people to take, and then you just let people take them? Well, whatever. <laughs> I guess he's so rich he doesn't care. Alright, I'm going down in this area here, because I need to get the item that I need to get to finish the game. And... here we go, here we go, here we go! The Ice Rod! Just like the Fire Rod, only it shoots ice. So I'm gonna get that out and demo its properties. I think that is a good investment of time to show you, I think, maybe. So a little crab. Whoop! Oh! I missed. Oh, I missed! Ah! Take that. So it freezes. And then you can attack things while they're frozen. Yep! But there's another use for the ice rod that's far, far more important than taking on these meager enemies. Um, but for now, I'm gonna get out my mirror and head back over to... The sparkly spot because I just exploded off camera because I that ah, because I would like to go back to the dark world and hop into the lake somewhere along the lines here and uh, get out of here shoot shoot stop it stop it yeah yeah I'm feeling pressured by all the critters and their unpredictable movements <laughs> uh, actually I could probably hop along here and, uh, by the way, uh, those flying enemies that drop bombs are zeros. Yeah, they just plop bombs, and yeah. <laughs> uh, at least some plop bombs, some just annoy you. Now, what I'm looking for here is a particular spot that I can use my magic mirror at. Uh, I, ju I just managed to block that somehow. Um, um, where is the spot? I forgot where the spots... The spot, I'm gonna try here. I don't think this is it, though. No, this is definitely not it. This must be further north. Um, you'll see in the light world, if you were to explore it here, there is a, a, a patch of land that you... This is it right here! A patch of land that you gotta use the magic mirror to get to. Oh, this isn't it. Ah! <laughs> you gotta use the magic mirror to reach the land. Uh, and on top of this piece of land, there is a uh, heart piece on it. Alright, is this it? I am questioning myself now. <laughs> Okay, this is it. <laughs> I got a piece of heart. Oh yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna go back to the dark world now just to show you the rest of it. Um, right here, this is dungeon five, which you cannot reach until you get the item from the next dungeon. So yeah, just saying that right now. So some some dungeons you can't do out of order to an extent. 
just saying that. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to go into the light world and I'm going to flop myself over to the fairy fountain and upgrade the, the bombs and arrows to their max off camera. How does that sound? <laughs> yeah, this is the thing you got to pick up to uh, get to a portal uh, to lead to the dark world that'll lead you to uh, the fifth dungeon. But, you know, I'm going to the fourth dungeon next. I have to. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off this part here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I have all my bombs and arrows upgraded. Woo!